listen up. You're probably on the way to getting diabetes. And I'm not saying this to scare you, it's just a fact. Look what's on your plate. Now, look how you're living. You're eating trash, you're barely moving, you're stressed out of your mind, and losing sleep. And if you don't change something fast, diabetes will catch up with you. If you think this doesn't apply to you, think again. Type 2 diabetes is creeping up on millions of people just like you who think they're fine because they haven't been diagnosed yet. But trust me, the way most people are living, it's not if, it's when. Stick around because I'm going to break down the five biggest reasons why you're heading towards diabetes and more importantly, how you can stop it right now. Reason number one, your diet is killing you. Let's get real, your diet is garbage and it's literally sending you down a path to diabetes. If you're eating loads of refined sugar, junk food and processed carbs, you're setting yourself up for failure. The more you indulge in these foods, the more your blood sugar spikes and crashes. Over time, your body just can't keep up and it starts pumping out so much insulin that it might become insulin resistant to it. And that's when diabetes steps in. It's time to cut the crap. Swap out the processed foods for real whole foods. Look, I'm all about the blood type diet. I follow it myself as an old blood type. I've got a recipe book coming out soon that can help clean up your diet without sacrificing flavor. But even if you're not ready for that, start making small changes now and stop eating like you're trying to kill yourself, all right? So reason number two, you are not moving enough. You're sitting way too much. You're probably parked at a couch, binge watching Netflix and wondering why you're gaining weight. Let me tell you, lack of physical exercise and activity is the second fastest way to develop diabetes. When you don't move your body, it becomes lazy at processing insulin. This makes it harder for your cells to absorb glucose, which spikes your blood sugar levels. But here's the fix, just move. I'm not asking you to run marathons, no. Start with low impact exercise like walking, walking backwards, yoga, or cycling. Then work your way up to something like high intensity interval training, short bursts of exercise that push your body to become more efficient at using insulin. I do kickboxing and resistance training to stay in shape. And at 54 years old, I can do it. So can you. You don't need to be in the gym for hours. Just get off your butt and make it happen. All right, here's reason number three, y'all, okay? You're too stressed out. You may not realize this, but stress in your life is slowly killing you. Every time you're stressed, your body releases a hormone called cortisol. High cortisol levels mess with your blood sugar and insulin, pushing you closer to diabetes every time you get stressed out and out of control. And if you think you can't control stress, you're wrong. Here's some tools. Meditation, mindfulness, breathing exercises, okay? It's all about finding something that works for you. I'm telling you right now, stress isn't just in your head, it's in your blood sugar, it's in your body. Start managing your stress and you'll manage yourself right back into health, all right? Here's reason number four. And this is the one that really makes me mad, okay? You're not sleeping. I get it, we're all busy. But if you're running on fumes with only four or five hours of sleep a night, you're pushing your body towards insulin resistance. Lack of sleep messes with your metabolism, increases hunger hormones, and makes you crave sugar-laden foods. It's a vicious cycle, all right? So you wanna get seven to eight hours of sleep every night. No excuses. Your body repairs itself while you're sleeping, and when you deprive it of rest, you throw everything off your hormones, your blood sugar, and your ability to function. So, you gotta prioritize sleep if you want to stay alive and healthy. Here's the, here's the last reason, y'all, okay? Let's blame it on the family, okay? Or is it your habits? Some of you might think you're doomed because diabetes runs in my family. And yeah, genetics play a small role, but here's the truth. It's more about family habits than genetics. Most people grow up eating what their parents ate 
And if those meals were loaded with sugar, fat, and processed junk, guess what? You're on the same path. You can change the narrative. Just because your family has diabetes doesn't mean you have to. Break the cycle by cleaning up your diet and getting rid of crap that's making you sick. If you want to avoid diabetes, start by eating for your body, not out of habit. Look, it's harsh, but true. If you're not careful, diabetes is coming for you. But the good news is you have the power to change it. Start making healthier choices today. If you don't know where to begin, check out my latest YouTube video where I give you a behind the scenes look at how I stay healthy while running a busy dental practice, okay? I even show you my blood type friendly meals that keep me energized and on top of my game. You don't have to give in to the standard American diet, which is the SAD diet, S-A-D, or the idea that you're destined for diabetes. If it's too convenient, more than likely, it's packed with chemicals and things that your body has to literally fight off in order for you to live. Look, hit that like button and subscribe. Join me in this fight for health and let's kick diabetes to the curb together. And if you wanna know about my five pillars of health, watch this video right here.